aim and object of Gaudiya Vaishnava is not to attain Krishna, achieve Krishna, but to achieve Krishna Prem, the loving service to Krishna. What I'm going to do? If for instance, for example, Krishna just bless me, come to my abode, what I'm going to go there, do there? No service to Krishna. And then it's more frustrating. And that was frustrating point for Putna. She's mother-like figure there. But she's not getting any service. It's just like if your favorite is chocolate cake. Imagine your favorite is chocolate cake and blueberries on the top. Yeah, mouth watering. And it's right in front of you. Haladni Shakti Mataji offered this chocolate cake with blueberries on the top. But you're not up. You're not allowed to take and eat it. Moment you're allowed to touch, oh sorry, moment you're about to touch, someone takes away from you. No, you can't eat. How frustrating it is. If there is no cake, then it's not a big point. But if cake is there and you want to eat that, but you can't, then it's very frustrating. This is what happening to Putna. She's in the abode of Krishna and she about to keep take Krishna to serve him, but Yashoda Maya, Mother Yashoda comes and she take away Krishna. Because Putna is not getting any service there. Because of her unfavorable moods towards Krishna. Not anukulena Krishna nushilanam. Not favorable moods to Krishna. She came with unfavorable mood and Krishna killed Putana. That's generous nature of Krishna. But Putana didn't got any service. So this is not called mercy or compassion. Mercy and compassion comes when you give complete package. You're giving your abode and you're also giving your service. So Krishna, your service is more important than you. That's the Gaudiya Vaishnava philosophy. Service to Krishna is more important than the proximity of Krishna. What I'm going to do with the proximity? There were so many demons and wrestlers. <clears throat> they were so close to Krishna. Krishna entered in the arena of Kamsa. And two big wrestlers, Char and Mushtik, like big bouncers. And Krishna Balram's young boys, soft, tender. And Char and Mushtik, they just embrace Krishna, like they want to kill Krishna. So much close proximity, heart to heart, thighs to thighs, face to face, touching each other. But there's so much distance. They want to kill Krishna instead of love Krishna. So close, but feels is not close. There's so much distance, you know. The mood is unfavorable. Putna mood was unfavorable. That's why she didn't got any service. So is this is the mercy question to Krishna in a soft, loving, mellow way? Is this is your mercy, Krishna? You're not giving your service. You're giving your abode. We don't want your abode. We want your service. There are many points on this. One more point. Krishna, he killed army of Jarasandha. Yeah. In Mathura, Jarasandha, when Krishna killed Kamsa, his wives Complain to Jarasan, the big demon, very smart. Yes, thank you. Very smart demon. And Jarasan, sending his army of demons to kill Krishna. Krishna is so smart, very intelligent, of course, he's Krishna. He's killing those. Uh, <coughs> army of demonic army of Jarasan and releasing Jarasan, sparing him, not killing him. And it happening, it happened one time, two time, three time, four time, ten time, twelve time, fifteen, sixteen times. Balram Prabhu, Balde Prabhu got angry. Krishna, what is this? Why are you not killing him? 
He's disturbing again and again, attacking on us. Just kill him and finish the episode. Krishna smiled. He said, Oh, elder brother, Balaram, you're not getting my point. He said, No, I'm not getting. What do you want to do? He said, Brother, we are here to kill so many demons. We don't know where they are hiding. In caves, here and there. We don't know where they are hiding. So what I am doing, trying to do is, <clears throat> I am sparing <clears throat> Jara's son and he is collecting all the demons and bring here at home. <laughs> so it's like work from home. You don't have to go out anywhere. He is bringing everyone here and I am just killing them. But seventeen time, Jara's son brought a demon called Kal Yavan who had this boon, no Yadu Vanshi can kill him. One who came in Yadu Vansha can kill him. And Krishna is in Yadu Vansha, in the dynasty of Yadus, Yadas. So Krishna can't kill Kal Yavan. And seeing Kal Yavan, Krishna ran away from there. Ran short. Yeah. He showed his back. And he came to one cave where one king was sleeping. Who was that king? Muchkund Maharaj. <laughs> was sleeping there. See, I'm still I'm creating a foundation. <laughs> it's not even Harikatha started yet. This is the only introduction of today's topic. So may I know what is the time frame? How long I can go? As long as you want. Okay. So it's 6.25 p.m. Yeah. So 6.25 a.m. Is that okay? Yes, that is good for me. <laughs> no, I'm I not going to. Drops. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. <clears throat> anyway, because it's a very elaborate subject. I'm trying to cover up. <laughs> so King Muchkunda was sleeping there. <clears throat> Why king is sleeping in a cave? Very powerful king who helped and supported demigods. Once upon a time, demigods were having fight, battle with the demons. And demigods finding difficult to defeat and kill demons to win over the battle. So demigods, they seek help from a king of this planet, earth, called Muchkunda Maharaj. And it happens many times. 33 million demigods, they are feeling so weak and they used to invite kings from this earth. Can you imagine? Also, Dashrat Maharaj, the father of Ramchandra, Yayati Maharaj, there are many kings. Imagine how powerful are kings. And not only about the battle, even if there is any point of discussion from the Shastras, demigods find failure there. Even their Guru Braspati, all glories to the Guru Braspati. But sometimes he also gets confused with the words of Krishna, what he is saying and why he is saying this. You know, in Bhagavad Gita, Krishna said, Api ches sudurachāro bhashte maam ananya bhak sadhu reva sam mantavya samvev yasti hi saha. Bhagavad Gita. Krishna is saying, anyone who is one-pointed devotion to me, if we commit any abominable act, still consider him a sadhu. No Krishna, I can't. Then you are recipient of my anger. 